as a sleep specialist, I get asked this question all the time. Should you be taking melatonin? In this video, we'll be looking at what melatonin is, how it's used, and whether or not you should be taking it. I'm Dr. Nishi Bhopal. I am a physician specializing in sleep medicine, psychiatry, and integrative holistic medicine. And it's become my mission to empower you with the best tools from modern science and ancient wisdom to sleep better, to function better, and achieve optimal well-being. First of all, what is melatonin? Melatonin is the hormone of darkness, as it's called. It's produced by the pineal gland in the brain, and it's released in accordance to the day and night cycle, or the light and dark cycle. It's produced in an environment of darkness, hence its nickname, the hormone of darkness. How does melatonin work? Well, I think of melatonin more as a circadian rhythm or a body clock regulator rather than a sleep aid. It helps to optimize sleep timing. It helps to counteract that 24 seven exposure to light and stimulation and helps to get our body clock back in sync. Our natural levels of melatonin start to rise about two hours before sleep onset. And one of its functions is to reduce the core body temperature, which is thought to be one of the primary mechanisms that helps with sleep onset. Because melatonin is a circadian rhythm modulator, it's particularly effective for sleep issues that are primarily circadian in nature. So these are things like delayed sleep phase syndrome, like uh, jet lag, and also like social jet lag, which is when our weekend or our schedule on our days off is misaligned with the schedule the rest of the week. How do you take melatonin? Well, in the US and in Canada, melatonin is considered a dietary supplement and is available over the counter. In some countries, like in the UK, melatonin is available by prescription only. In the drugstore, you'll find doses of around three, five, or 10 milligrams. These doses are way too high. In my practice, I usually use doses of around half a milligram, so 0.5 milligrams, up to two milligrams max. Melatonin is typically taken about two hours before sleep onset, and I recommend taking it for no more than about two months continuously. It may also be taken intermittently as needed. Like with any other supplement or medication or any other therapeutic intervention, melatonin works best when used with a holistic approach. Um, so it's not going to overcome unhealthy sleep behaviors or other behaviors that are going to interfere with your sleep, like having a vastly different sleep schedule on the weekend versus weekdays. Melatonin is not going to be enough to overcome that or to overcome excessive light exposure in the evening. However, when you implement good sleep hygiene and good light and dark regulation, like dimming your lights in the evening, avoiding blue light, avoiding screens an hour before bed, using melatonin can help support you with getting your sleep back on track. Some of the side effects of melatonin that I see commonly in my practice are um, side effects related to long-term use. So these include long-term issues with fatigue and with brain fog, with grogginess, Sometimes depression can be a side effect. This can also happen with short-term use. Um, vivid dreams and nightmares are a very common side effect of melatonin as well. Melatonin is a hormone, so you should think about it like a medication. It's not without risk. It can make certain medications less effective, so if you're on prescription medication, do talk to your doctor about interactions with melatonin. There is great variability among um, different brands and dosing. So the dose that it says on the bottle might not be actually what you're getting. For this reason, for melatonin and for any other supplement for that matter, I always recommend using a pharmaceutical grade supplement. Um, so these are brands that have been third party tested. So should you be taking melatonin? For all the reasons listed earlier, I don't recommend taking it long term or taking it every single day for more than two months. It can be used intermittently for bouts of insomnia or bouts of sleep issues or for help with the social jet lag to kind of get your body clock back on track. Uh, you know, when it's misaligned on weekdays versus weekends. If you're experiencing long-term issues with sleep, insomnia, body clock, circadian rhythm, I recommend consulting with your doctor or getting a referral to a sleep specialist like me for additional support. For more information on melatonin and sleep, you can download my free sleep guide. The link is available in the description below and is also available for download at my website at intrabalance.com. That's I-N-T-R-A balance.com.